dreaming is all about finding yourself and what you love. Finding um, yourself, your inner self, and what you love. And um, I, I normally encourage that you sit back and you ask yourself, what do I want in this life? What am I going to work for? And uh, I encourage that um, we, we must uh, um, um, put it in a, on a chart, maybe on a dream chart, but also maybe importantly, to have goal cards out together. Everyone who became super successful, they were sure about what they want and they remain in that mode for over 20 years all together they, they, they have been able to identify a particular business a particular direction a particular calling that they're doing for some very good time i told you that there was research that was done and it found out that many businesses that start they never celebrate their birthday all together that when you when you see someone opening up a boutique and you go back next year at this very time you may not find it there a restaurant you may not find it there a barber shop may not find it there companies that are registered in with the register of companies many of them by the time they celebrate their first year they have run out of what of business why because we as africans and i think we should really work against that is that we we we, we try we work more in the now that if things don't work out you don't you you, you we never do businesses that will last a, a long period of what of time uh because um I was reading somewhere, and I think I'm right. According to this, where I was reading, this uh, CNN, that is the cable news network, they spent about 20 years without making a profit. How, to, how many years? 20 years. But it's, I think it's simply because they really just wanted to, they were not great getting to that business just to make money, but this guy, I think, had a very big vision for his business. This guy, uh, Jeff Bezos, who's now the richest man in the world, and it is said that when he began Amazon, first of all, he was the smallest. He, there were other book selling companies, both online and also offline. His was the smallest. But for a very long period of time, he was selling his books at a loss or at a, without making a profit altogether for a very long period of time. Now, you don't find that here in Africa altogether. Uh, this man of Alibaba, he also was, um, I think, uh, selling at a loss for a very long period of what? Of time. Now, I'm not saying you should sell at a loss. What I'm saying is that you should choose what you want to choose and settle in and be in and build a very long-term relationship with that kind of what? Of business.